The air smells dangerous. Hail. Need something, friend? Need something, friend? Glad to see you're still in one piece. You're just in time for the action. But it's good to see you back, but you'd better get to them. right away and report to Elder Lions. Hail. Um, I don't think that Paladin Gunny would be very happy if he saw me talking to an outsider. Welcome. It's good to see you again. I hope that we can return to the Purifier soon and finish your father's work. In the meantime, it seems that my talents are of use to the Brotherhood. I still don't completely trust them, but I'm willing to look past that. I should think it's rather obvious they want the technology. You grew up in a vault, never wanting for clean, fresh water. Out here in the real world, it's hard to come by, and that makes it valuable. I'm assisting Rothschild with some of his research. I've worked with portable generators more extensively. I don't really care for the idea that this is supporting some gigantic military... Take care of yourself. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. You we should hit them sooner Elder rather Lions than later. ASAP. You need to report to Elder Lions ASAP. He's over by the robot. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. Great to see you. But have you... Great to see you. But have you spoken to Elder Lions? Great to see you. But have you spoken to Elder Lions? He's here in the lab level, near the robot. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Excellent. With that, we hold the key to keeping the Enclave from controlling the Purifier. What do you mean? Explain yourself.
then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. I see. And where is this virus now? Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean, Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Sure thing. Hopefully, it'll give you a bit of an extra edge. Okay. Now that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? We're not coming back here anytime soon. Hurry it up! Every minute you take is one more that we can't afford to spend. Are you ready now? We can't afford to keep standing around like this. Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step on you. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me, 
The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! Make it to the purifier, we can chat then. Now's not exactly a good time.
embrace democracy, or you will be eradicated.
tactical assessment. Red Chinese. Red Stay sharp and stick close to me until we're in the control room.
you again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. You're in over your head, I'm afraid. But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Look out! Well, that takes care of that. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition... Let's get this... Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Dr. Lee, Dr. Lee something's wrong with the Sarah purifier. Lines. I'm in the control room. Please, someone in about here. here. What's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there were some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now or the damage will be catastrophic. Well... So much for celebrating. One of us, not a. So. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. Now, you don't have much time left. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. 
The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes.